What's going on guys, it's you here bringing you another review on Baruto, and this episode was actually pretty cool, I gotta say I really enjoyed it, uh, we get to see action on all kinds of ends, and I am just interested in seeing the next one, I, I, I'm kind of curious as to how that's going to be. But before I get to you guys, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already to the channel, it would help out tremendously and I would be eternally grateful. But let's get to it. So the episode starts off with them communicating with each other. And by them, I mean Sarada, Kagura, and Baruto. They're all communicating. They're all in their places. We see Sarada has made uh, pretty much a good far distance from the pursuers and that they're going to be good. And Kagura thinks he's good. But at the end of the, I guess you could say, the intro of the beginning of this episode, we see Kagura and them getting captured by the same pursuers they didn't finish off. Which, really, that's all I gotta say about that, really. So it really leaves Boruto, um, Buntan, and Kawaki to try to see how it was the best way to stop this uh, scientific tool. Which... Honestly, now that I've watched the episode, I don't think it's mostly a scientific tool. I just think it was a giant cannon. Honestly, that's kind of what it was. Um, luckily, though, we do have Kagura helping out. Uh, he does find a way to create a distraction that allows Boruto and the gang to be able to move freely for a little bit. It was very smart, and I like that unspoken communication because it really benefited them from doing this. We actually have them going through. Uh, they took down a couple guards, which, you know, whatever. But the threat of all this, in the meat of the episode, I guess you could say, was the fact that we have Tenma showing up. And honestly, he's not as strong as I thought he was, to be completely honest with you. I was expecting him to use, like, some chakra abilities or some jutsu of some sort. But this dude just seems to be more of a hand-to-hand -hand combat kind of guy. I mean, he's got some interesting, uh, I guess, uh, <laughs> Spencer's or cl uh, claws that he's using, which is kind of random. But we see him, you know, not being that bad of a fighter. You know, we have Kagura and all of them just kind of getting in line to fight. Uh, unfortunately, though, Hibichio, I mean, H H Hibichio, I believe that's her name, uh, jumps in first uh, and gets taken down. And then we have Koyo. Uh, who, at the sight of her blood, kind of goes on a rampage. It doesn't help at, like, in the after part of it, because at first he is able to hold off this guy, but he goes berserk and starts attacking everyone, which was pointless to even have this guy. Like, he is a powerhouse. He's just uncontrolled and unhinged very easily. And so, uh, it is unfortunate that that happened, but in the end, we have both Kagura and Kawaki teaming up to fight this guy which is able to then hold him off unfortunately he does give the order to fire this cannon and Buntan and Boruto are having a hard time trying to stop this thing and we actually have Denki and the rest of them realizing we gotta move out of the way like they're about to get shot down by this cannon luckily they are able to make it through the first time but because they missed they start firing up the cannon again and they think that this is it that this is pretty much where it's gonna lead out to them being destroyed or destroying the other ship uh but we have baruto pretty much on his feet here really thinking smart and thankfully uh, buntan was able to help distract some of the guards we have him getting onto the this little crane machine which then pulls down the cannon and then blows up the fortress itself um i don't think this is the end of this guy we're definitely gonna see him again we haven't even seen you know the main guys you know the the other brother and you know the leader we haven't even seen where they're at so that's you know a big question i'm pretty sure they're gonna be pissed about this attack on the fortress but we shall see but we have the groups getting rescued they get onto the ship and i love the reaction that we have from uh, Iwabe and the rest of them seeing that the 
I guess you could say these criminals are now helping them out. But it was fun to see and it looks all to be good. But the next episode looks to be a little interesting as it says a killer on the ship. Let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you later.